हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन ट्यूटोरियल क्लासेस फॉर विद्या भवन हाई सेकेंडरी स्कूल दिस वीडियो इज पार्ट नाइन एंड आई एम डिस्कसिंग द क्लास सिक्स लाइफ साइंस एंड द चैप्टर इज डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इन ह्यूम इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस ऑल ऑफ द डाइजेशन प्रोसीडियर्स लाइक वेन वी कंज्यूम द फूड इट इज कमिंग इन टू अवर माउथ देन इट इज गोज टू द फेरिंग्स एंड सो फेगर्स आफ्टर दैट इज कमिंग टू अवर स्टमक द फॉर द डाइजेशन हैपन्स आफ्टर द स्टमक इट गोज टू द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन द एब्जॉर्बन स्टार्ट एंड सम डाइजेशन ऑब्वियसली हैपन्स आफ्टर दैट इट गोज टू द लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन देर ऑल्सो द डाइजेशन प्रोसीडियर्स स्मॉल डाइजेशन प्रोसीडियर्स मोस्ट ऑफ द एब्जॉर्बन हैपन्स After that, the excessive parts are gone by this anus and go out from our body. But this all procedures, uh, whatever the food that we are consuming, the hundred person is not acting. The some persons are producing energy and some person are store for the future use. That is only the assimilation. So in this video, we will discuss about the assimilation process in detail. Okay. so uh, let's discuss them now we are going to start about the assimilation in the previous video we discussed in detail about the digestive system the digestion process the digestion that happens by our various organs and the glands associated with it and the every small and big functions done by all the digestive organs the next step of it is the assimilation so what is the assimilation like uh, it is a process like all the absorbed nutrients that not used up immediately by our body they are changed into various forms that can be stored until they are needed this procedure is called assimilation so assimilation is the process by which the food can be stored for the future use every day whatever the things that we are consume the 100% is not absorbed by us the hundred percent is not used by us so the where the extra percent is gone they are used to store in our various kind of organs like the liver like the muscles they are stored for the future use okay so in this picture also you can see that the various things are happens like the lipids are actually uh, stored in the hepatic portal vents and liver in the subclavian vents the vena cava amino acids and there's a glucose and lymphatic vessels here you can see that the numbering parts are there like 2a and b after digestions 2a and b is absorbed in the blood capillaries of villus then been transported to part 3 and part 4 part 3 and part 4 uh is you can see this the hepatic parts right then the while part 5 is absorbed in the lacteal of villus and uh been transported in part 6 that is the into the blood vessels so here you can see one structured diagram is uh, there to make you more understand understandable and now i'm telling that what are the things are happening in the function or in the stage of the assimilation the glucose the con we, that we are consuming the complex glucose complex carbohydrates the uh, then it is uh, producing the simpler form of absorbable form that is called glucose the glucose is converted into the glycogen and is stored in the liver 
you know that that liver is a organ that only loves glucose to store in it when required by the body the liver converts glycogen into glucose so liver can only store the glucose in the form of glycogen but when needed they can still produce the glucose from the glycogen and then it can be used the next is the excess of glucose is also converted into fat but it is not done by one or two days it, it needed long days converted into fat and stored in the adipose tissue in females body the adipose tissue is more than the male fatty acids either provide energy or are stored under the skin as fat this is also the storage of the glucose but in the way of fat now telling about amino acids the amino acids are used for the synthesis of proteins excess amino acids are converted into urea which is removed from the body by the kidneys in the form of urine this is a very important uh, process by which the extra amino acid uh, can be uh, go out from our body because if it is present if it is stored in our body then the acidosis can form the digestion of the proteins fats and carbohydrates is completed in the small intestine actually after that there's a the absorption of the digestion procedure takes place in a small intestine okay so these are the process of assimilation that i discussed now i'm telling some key notes like the process of breaking down large fat molecules into tiny droplets for enzyme action is called the emulsification of fats it is also a very important thing and uh, robin warren and scientists robin warren and barry marshall for hundred of years physicians thought that ulcer in the stomach were caused by spicy food stuffs but in 1982 the australian researchers robin warren and barry marshall discovered that the ulcers were caused by helicobacter pylori a bacterium which burrows into the stomach's mucosal lining okay uh, in the next video we will discuss about uh, more of these digestive enzymes till then thank you So I'm completing this video with the idea of assimilation. In the next uh, video, we will uh, discuss about a comprises form of the all enzymes and their functions. Till then, thank you.